Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Last episode, we took on all of Nugget Bridge, and in this episode, we are going to go meet Bill, where we will ultimately see, well, I guess, I don't know. We'll keep that in store and we'll find out what happened. It'll be interesting. I'm sorry for the weird opening. I had to split the last video in half to, you know, cut down time, but uh, hopefully it shouldn't be like this later, and if it is, uh, I apologize. Have fun. I have realized that we have both a Nugget and a Star Piece, and neither one of them are used for anything in this game other than selling, so let's just take him in here. I meant to click sell, not buy. So we can get some extra money. Nuggets sell for 5,000, and Star Pieces sell for 4,900, which is just one underneath it, so. We're doing pretty good on money, I'd say. What do we have? 15,000, we're not doing terrible. Now let's continue back up there, and I will see you up there in a second. And we are back. So up here to the left, there is a Pokeball that contains a tract. I don't think there are any hidden items up here, at least not that I can see. There's one right there. We can, we can get that in a second. Let's come running over here. There's a hiker here. Let's grab this item first. Yeah, it's a berry. So this hiker, I believe, has a Machop and a Geodude. So we'll go out with Nidorino first, and then we'll swap to Mankey to take out the Geodude. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. What tank? What car? Where are you getting gas from? I haven't seen a gas station at all. Hiker, Hiker Franklin would like to battle. And yep. He throws out his Machop, he's level 15. Should be able to take it out with Peck relatively quick. Oh, we got down to half. He's using focus energies, get ready for a crit, guys. Let's take it out before he can get one. Oh, wow, it actually stole good. I figured I'd be able to take it out with that second hit, but I guess not. And... So we're gonna swap off to Mankey for that Geo dude, so we can get him some experience. Let's see if we can hit him with Karate Chop. Come on. You worked hard, and we got 540, so that was good. Um, let's see who's next. This guy here, I believe, has got an Onyx, so... Swap to Mankey, swap him out. See if we can level him up in this route at all. You're going to see, Bill, first we battle. Oh, come on. Hiker Wayne. Yep. He's got one level 17 Onyx. Even more, even stronger than Brock's Onyx. I should have used Low Kick. With Onyx's height and weight, Low Kick probably would have done more damage than Karate Chop. Mm, we'll see. The Bind and Wrap are just the same attack. And I was right, Low Kick seemed to have done way more damage. And one up a level. You're something. 612. Oh, we're finally getting some money in. Let's take on this kid. He should have a Rattata and a Spiro. Come on. And should be able to just take it out with a Karate Chop really quick. And I was right. Oh, it was Youngster Joey? I didn't even realize that. Uh, we'll go back to Roshi. See what we can do. Sit it with a water gun. Aw, oh, man. We lived through that. Oh, 
That's right, hit it with another one. Awesome. Now, there's another hiker. I mean, not another hiker. There's another youngster over here, and I believe he has a slow poke, which, thankfully, that we just learned bite, we should be able to take it out pretty quickly. Dad took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. So we should be able to take him out relatively quick with Bite, because Slowpoke is water psychic, I believe. Let's see. Oh, it was close. We didn't quite get it, though. Confusion. And Slowpoke should be gone. I'm not mad. I guess he's not mad. You mad, bro? This person should have both Nidoran male and Nidoran female. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Where's your boyfriend? Yep, another Nidoran male. She's water gun. Let's see if we can take him out relatively quickly. And here's the other Nidoran female. Oh, come on. These battles haven't really been a challenge for us, which is nice. I'm glad we're at a decent level. It'd be terrible to be underleveled right now. My conditioning isn't the best. Apparently not. Alright, so now we'll go on to this next person. So next person's a hiker who should have two, three Geo dudes and a Machop. Let's see if we can take them out. We'll have to see a Pokemon Maniac's collection of Pokemon. Hiker Knob would like to battle. Yep, here's his first Geo dude. We're just gonna see if we can sleep him with Mankey minus his Machop. So let's see, Cry Chop. It's one. We might gain a level in this too. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Another Karate Chop. That's two. Hey, there we go. And here's the last Geodude. Let's see if we can take him out along with the first two. And that's three. And we'll go to Need Arena so we can just pack against this one job. See, Pack should just be able to take it out quick. Ah, uh, maybe one more. Come on. And there we go. Just as simple as that. Mm. So this dude here should also have a uh, Rattata and Ekans. Now if you look, there's a tree to get cut down next to them. And we can't go through there to go up there to get the item, so we should be able to pull them down here. And then we can go get that item after we finish battling them. Let's see. Tata. Take him out really quick. What is with everybody and having Ekans? I kind of wish we did have an Abra right now, just so we could use Confusion to wipe through him quicker. Oh, Fury Swipes missed. Let's see if we can hit with it. Can we get five hits? two that's three that's four and we got a critical we didn't need five 
That's what I'm talking about. Camper Flint. Ah, darn. Now we should be able to swap Nita Reno back. Because the next person is going to have two Oddish and a Pidgey, and I'm just going to try and make that fast. We got TM43 Secret Power. That's two TMs we found on this route. Oh, and there's an item here. Also, I was wrong. I believe this person actually has an Ekans and a Sand, sand True before we go and uh, take on that girl there. Let's see. Yep. Starts off with his Ekans. So we can get through it quickly. Uh, try double kick. Oh man, it's not doing a lot of damage. This is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Maybe we'll try Peck. Let's see what that does. Peck actually did a lot more than I thought it would. And he's got a sand tree so he can swap to Roshi. Take out the sand tree really quick. And sand tree is done. Youngster Chad, that was quick. Now, this person should have the Oddish, the Pidgey, and the other Oddish. Just checking to make sure there's no more items sitting there. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Sounds like Vicky. Vicky likes playing with cute Pokemon. Oh boy, here we go. Or maybe it's just one Oddish and one Pidgey. Why do I keep being wrong? Why? I'm slipping. My knowledge is slipping. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Maybe we can gain a level out of this. Let's see. I'm hoping. There we go. Now we'll see. Oh, yep. There's another Oddish after this picking. Or at least should be. Let's see if we can poison it. going at it. Oh, uh, we poisoned it, so that's actually really good. It's gonna help us out a little bit. I don't think we necessarily need it that badly, though, because we're just gonna take it out anyways. And it was a critical. Let's overkill. Oops. Did not mean to do that. And here we have the last Oddish that we should be able to get through relatively quickly. Just need to hit it with Peck one more time. Come on. And we did it. All right, and I th believe we have made it to Bill's house. Sea Cottage Bill lives here. Uh, that just looks like a Clefairy. Where's Bill at? Oh, turned. Um, let's see something. Teleporter is displayed on PC monitor. Well, let's... Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with the Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? I guess. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Oh boy. So let's do that. Sorry, I had a water bottle in my mouth. Initiated the teleporter's cell separator. Oh. You would think because it's a cell separator that Clefairy also still would have came out the other one because he said combined. I think he just turned into it. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. 
So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this will do. Oh, we got the SS ticket for the SSN. I hear there are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand Fancy Deuce. Why don't you go ahead instead of me? Go on, have a good time. And just like that, we got the ticket for the SSN. I believe if we do come back, we can go on to his PC and see the other, the, his Pokemon collection that he has. Right now, we can't. So, we're just going to make our run back down here, the shortcut way, and get back to Cerulean City. Run, 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 run. Man, that's a long sprint. I think it's so funny, the animation for him running, waving his hands in front of him. And just like that, we've made it back to Cerulean City. Now, next episode, we'll continue exploring Cerulean City, and then we will take on the Pokemon Gym here. So, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to leave a comment down below about what you thought about this episode. Leave a like on this video. It really helps us out, and I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Pokemon videos like this. Be sure to click the bell to turn on notifications so that you're notified when we upload, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!